Today we're going to talk to you about the Wheeland Universal Safety Relay. What is shown here is a demo case that we carry around and it contains the Wheeland Universal Safety Relay and it also has the Wheeland Samos Pro Safety Controller that we will cover in another video. The devices wired to the Universal Safety Relay that we're going to show you today are a normally closed non-contact switch wired in series with a dual channel emergency e-stop switch. The reset button for the safety circuit is here and on the out output side of the safety relay is a contactor that has mirrored auxiliary contacts which are required in safety circuits. The reason Wheeling calls this their universal safety relay is because it can accept inputs from different types of safety sensors and switches and various applications. For instance, it can accept inputs from a single or two channel safety circuit, an input from a solid state input or OSSD input such as from a light curtain. It also accepts normally open, normally closed dual channel inputs from safety switches that are commonly used on magnetic switches. Plus it can also accept an inputs from safety mats. Most other manufacturers who manufacture safety relays in this size of a package would require different part numbers to accept those different types of input signals. The Wheeland Universal Safety Relay has three sets of positively driven safety outputs and one set of non-safe uh, enunciating outputs. Other features of this relay include manual or automatic reset, with or without crossover monitoring detection, feedback circuit for monitoring external contactors. Additional features include a monitored reset, plus this relay has diagnostic functions which are available via the LEDs on the front of the relay. One of the features I just mentioned was the monitored reset. And let me show you how that works uh, with the diagnostics LEDs. Let's simulate a door opening. So I'm opening the door. And then I'm going to simulate someone holding down the reset button, either taping it down or holding it down, or perhaps a malfunctioning reset button. So I'm going to hold it down. We're going to close the door. And you'll see after a few seconds, the relay begins to flash. That relay is flashing five times, and that tells us that there's a problem with the reset circuit. And the only thing we have to do to correct it is it needs to see a normal sequence of operation. So I'm now going to release the reset button. The relay is saying that it's happy now. It's seeing a normal sequence. It's seeing the reset button being released and operating correctly. We're going to depress it and let go again and we're back in a safe condition. One of the other diagnostic functions that the safety relay displays is cross monitoring. Cross monitoring occurs when you have two normally closed uh, circuits coming in from your safety switches into the safety relay and one of those commons gets shorted over to the other. I'm going to simulate that now when I turn the selector switch. We're going to short one of those commons to the other. When I do that, the relay drops out and now the contactor or the uh, load is de-energized. And the only thing we have to do to clear it is that the relay needs to see a proper sequence of operation. So we're going to clear the error. We're now going to give it a reset and we're back and running again. Another diagnostic function the relay will display is a dual channel actuation timing error. I'm going to try to simulate that by opening this non-contact switch very slowly. And when I do that, one of those relays inside or one of those relay circuits, uh, normally closed circuits, will open before the other. And I'm going to do it really slow, trying to simulate the error. Notice when I do that, the relay should drop out. I'm going to close it back. And once again now we have another diagnostic function and it's flashing three times now which simulates that error. And once again to get the relay back in proper operation you don't have to power it down. It needs a proper sequence of operation. So we open the door properly, we close it, we give it a reset, and we're back and running again. A feature that I had mentioned earlier was feedback uh, monitoring from an external contactor. And what we have here is a contactor a uh, three-phase contactor with auxiliary contact. The auxiliary contact is a mirrored contact and is safety rated. And what that basically means is that the auxiliary contact is always in the opposite condition or the opposite state of the mains. So if one of these three poles on this contactor were to weld, 
closed, the auxiliary would always remain open. And that's a rating that these contactors have. So this is basically a safety contactor. Another thing that we would probably want to do normally on this is provide a cover on it because I'm going to simulate a failure. So we're going to go ahead and now we're in a safe condition, but I'm going to hold the contactor down simulating that it's shorted. I'm going to open the door and now we're going to close it. It looks like everything's working okay and give it a reset. But you'll notice now the relay does not come back into a safe condition because the auxiliary contact has told us that one of these mains has potentially shorted and it won't allow it. So once again, to get back in a safe condition, it wants to see a proper operation and now sees that the main contacts are in the proper operation. The normally closed auxiliary contact is closed again. We're going to give it a reset circuit and now we're back and running. So to review the features of the Whelan Universal Safety Relay, is it's capable of accepting inference from a single or a two-channel safety circuit. It's rated for PLE or Category 4, SIL 3. It is rated for Stop Category 0. It's manual or automatic reset. You can be wired with with or without crossover detection. It includes feedback circuit monitoring for external contactors. It has three enabling or safety outputs and one messaging or enunciating output. It also is capable of accepting inputs from light curtains or safety mats. So the benefit of all those features of the Whelan Universal Safety Relay is that the user or OEM can basically stock one relay to accept all these different conditions.